This is Herman, the sea cucumber. Herman's life goals include not getting eaten and fighting climate change with his clean sand alternative. So Herman, tell us a bit about your project. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. So, when I heard about this climate change thing, I got pretty worried. When you're living on a coral reef, terms like ocean warming, ocean acidification, sea level rise, they're all pretty scary. So, I decided to do something about it. I decided to make a change. Like many of his friends, Herman crawls along the sea floor, eating delicious sand picking out algae and small organisms. But this isn't just about scoring a cheap feed for Herman. Herman has a direct influence on the coral algal balance on coral reefs. But it's when the sand re-enters the world that Herman truly makes a difference. So let me explain the clean sand alternative. The carbon dioxide made by humans is absorbed by the ocean causing a drop in pH, or ocean acidification. But if I eat the sand, it will dissolve in my tummy, and the sand I poop out will be higher in pH, fighting ocean acidification. So, if I spread the word, we could really make a change. Herman has started a new phenomenon on coral reefs. All his friends are doing it, and Herman believes that with enough effort, sea cucumbers might just be able to help buffer local ocean acidification and ocean chemistry. But slow-moving sea cucumbers like Herman are easy targets for the seafood trade. Due to unsustainable fishing, we are already beginning to see a decrease in sea cucumber numbers, which will only slow down Herman's clean sand alternative. To reward his hard work, scientists have pledged to increase research to protect sea cucumbers. Researchers will be running climate change experiments to examine the effects of warmer, more acidified waters on sea cucumbers for the first time. Thanks to the hard work of one determined sea cucumber, researchers will now be examining the ecological role of sea cucumbers and the impacts that climate change and unsustainable fishing may have on these species and the greater reef ecosystem. This research is crucial to the conservation of sea cucumbers and for the future of coral reefs.